The girl looked glad to be back on solid ground. Excuse me? Mr. Grundy. Oh, Mr. Grundy. Mr. Grundy? Bravo, Mr. Grundy. Your actions in this situation were sublime, albeit unconventional. The local noise levels have already returned to normal, and the building will soon sparkle again. I'm more concerned about the girl. Is she gonna be okay? Yes, yes, blah, blah, blah. And all that. Officer, wouldn't you say that Mr. Grundy's actions today weren't a kudos boost, hmm? Of course. Thank you for the suggestion. Tarquin, miss. Orana. Orana Newblood. Yeah, like the guy said. Graham Grundy. Mr. Grundy? Will she be in trouble for the graffiti? Well, no real harm done. The droid will clean us up, eventually. That said, her kudos rating will take a hit. All because she defaced Joey? People loved Joey, and what he did for us. Joey was my friend. We did so much together. Well, he might be gone, but he's not forgotten. You can find out about our savior at the Museum of New History. You mentioned I could find out about Joey in a museum? Yes. The Museum of New History has exhibits about how he transformed the city. I'd recommend it to anyone who wants to learn about him and his legacy. A museum dedicated to Joey? He'd be proud of that for sure. Well, it's not all Joey. They have a special exhibit about the previous administration. Old technology, maps, that sort of thing. My advice, though, is to avoid dwelling on the past. Anyway, taking in some culture is good for you. Find it at the piazza if you get the chance. Does the location E1594 mean anything to you? Well, E1594? That's just an area code based on the old map system. Totally obsolete. That system hasn't been used for years. E1594 was an obsolete code. There had to be a way of finding that location. Raquel. Is she always like that? What do you mean? Well, I met her earlier, and she seemed like a totally different person. She's been through a big ordeal. Nothing that a trip to the Reflection Spa won't sort out. What is the Reflection Spa? What is the... Are you feeling okay, Graham? Everyone this side of the industrial level has heard of Reflections. Oh, you mean that Reflection Spa. It's been a long day. Next, you'll be asking me to tell you about this Joey guy. No, no, I'm familiar. I'm on the trail of a missing kid called Milo. I think he's somewhere in Union City. That shouldn't be difficult. Any greeter terminal will be able to find him via U-chip. No, that won't help. He was brought here from the Gap. That's not possible. I assure you. Where did you say you worked, Mr. Grundy? That'd be the Ministry of Comfort. I suggest you concentrate on your work and leave well-being issues to the appropriate ministry. I guess I should get going. Yeah, well. Thanks for your help. I suppose I should thank you, too. No problem. You take care. You too, Mr. Grundy. If you need any well-being support, just ask for me at a greeter terminal. Orana Newblood. Come on, Raquel. Let's get you to the spa. You'll be feeling better in no time. No need to worry, Raquel. You're safe now. Happy faces all round, right? In fact, this calls for a... a celebration. It is Aspiration Day, after all. Oh, goodness. Is it? All day. And you know what would be the best end to a day like this? A trip to the Reflection Spa. I'll pull a string or two, and we'll get you straight to the front of the line. I had a lead, a map reference, E1594. Graham had put a tracker there. 
Maybe it was the key to finding his hacker friend, Leet. Pod has been requested. Please wait for embarkation. Welcome, Citizen Graham. Where would you like to go? The piazza is the place for me. It would be my pleasure, Citizen Graham. And you've been keeping up with your daily polls? You bet. I can't wait to find out about the new Spankles flavor of the month. Don't forget to vote for the new elected officials. <laughs> Whatever. Spankles! Anyway, I'm pleased to see your well-being in such good shape. Mr. Grundy, I didn't expect to see you again so soon. Busy day, huh? I'll say. Raquel is over in the reflection spa as we speak. She'll be back to normal in no time. I thought you'd want to know. Thanks for looking after her. No, thank you. You showed some real quick thinking back there. Now, how can I help you? I'm still trying to find the location E1594. Like I said, I think it's some kind of old map reference. I'm sorry, I wish I could help you. How is Raquel doing? Don't worry, she'll be fine. This is quite the place, isn't it? The piazza? You make it sound like you've never seen it before. Oh no, I mean there's a certain something in the air, isn't there? That's aspiration day for you. Just wait for tonight's celebrations. They'll be amazing. As usual, I'm sure. Thanks, Orana. Have a great aspiration day, Mr. Grundy. Orana seemed to be stationed all over the city. I needed to stay in her good books if I were to maintain my disguise. Leet was my only lead to discovering Graham's connection to the Stalker. And the obsolete map reference E1594 was the only lead I had to finding Leet. As I surveyed the room, I was greeted by a familiar face. Hello, darling! It was a hologram of Danielle Piermont, a friend from when I last came to Union City.
every can is bursting with microglycerins to boost your mood. What looked like a mobile toilet brush was fanatically scrubbing the floor. Oh, who saved us from starving in sadness and hate? Savior Joey! Put clothes on our backs and food on our plates. citizen. We are the council, your democratically elected representatives. Five years ago, Savior Joey decreed that we take charge of our own destiny and prove ourselves worthy of the freedom that he brought. The council proudly serves to uphold his legacy for the benefit of all citizens of the greatest city in the world. I am the Minister for Safety. I preserve the peace to keep you safe, to make you happy. I am the Minister for Comfort. We invite you to salute the people of Asio City, our faraway friends and valued members of the Union Group. Unstinting and determined cooperation has allowed both cities to grow to become the richest cities in the world. After bringing an end to the tyranny of the oppressor Link, Joey created Minos to ensure that forthwith technology The centerpiece of the whole museum was a synthetic arm. I recognized it. It was Joey's. He'd lost it in our fight against Link all those years ago. <gasps> look, look, look! Over here! Dad, do you have to be so loud? The arm! Isn't it amazing? Seemed like I wasn't the only Lesson. one interested in the Joey arm. Didn't I promise? Didn't I say I'd bring you here? You did, Dad. I'm so stoked. This is Joey's arm! This was once attached to the really real Joey! Savior of Union City! <sighs> Aren't you feeling blessed to be here? Of course I am, Dad, but... Then tell the world! How awesome is this place, huh? It's awesome. It's what? This place The droid awesome. was going around in a circle, Say repeating the same inane message. I said, it's awesome! Yes, now you've got it. I'm just gonna have a look around. Seriously? It's Joey's arm! Why would you want to look at anything else? But this is only the beginning. From our new partnership, Union City wishes enrichment of the gap. Savior Joey's... Hello there. Good day, friend. Are you here to walk with Joey? I've walked with Joey before. He had treads at the time. Yes. When you tread with Joey, you become one with happiness. How do you walk with an arm? You don't walk, walk with him. You walk with him in here. I think you're probably walking with him up there. Oh, the mind's always on Joey, that's for sure. You kind of worship Joey, huh? Is that why you're here? Well, I mean, yes, but not just that. I'm looking for a sign. A sign? From who? Joey, of course. When a man reaches our age... Our age? He starts to look for... guidance. And what better thing to point me in the right direction than the arm of Joey himself? What sort of sign are you looking for? At this point, anything. I've been such a devoted citizen, putting Joey first above everything. My job, my wife and daughter, all second to Joey. Just as he would have wanted. But now... I worry I'm straying off the path. Ever thought about a counselor? But who would deliver better counsel than the Savior himself? Say, I'm looking for a specific location. 
An obsolete area code E1594. Is there a map around here somewhere? A map around here? I don't think so. Unless you mean the map in the old history exhibit. Well, that counts. Well, in that case, you're in luck. There is one in the old history exhibit. How it was before the Joey era. It's like staring into oblivion. But of course, without a brooch, they won't let you in. Joey's actual arm. Quite something, huh? Yes. The original arm that wrenched the city from the precipice of damnation. Didn't it just get stuck to a hand scanner? This very arm wielded a weapon so great it tore down a tyranny. This very arm wielded a weapon so great it toppled the heads of government. Forged a plowshare and rebuilt the city from the ground up. With this arm, he plucked the eyes from the Hydra of Link and gave them to the people so we all might see. All that by himself? Yes! Yes, all by himself! The whole story can be found on the stations around the hall. Is that a social climber aspiration brooch? Ah, I know a real savior craver when I see one. I'm proud to be one of the biggest social climbers in the past 30 days. And the 30 days before that. Such an honor. Sorry, I made you drag that out of me a bit. I'm just never sure where Joey stands on humility. Oh, I say he's rather flexible. If I wanted to get inside the old history exhibit, this brooch would be the key. How can I get one of those brooches? Just be a good citizen. Every morning, every afternoon, every evening, and all night long. And then wake up and do it again tomorrow. I'm not sure I have time for that. I better go and admire something. Happy Aspiration Day! Now, if you might stand aside so the Savior and I can have a little us time. Just me and the hand. Union City wishes all citizens... Excuse me. Oh, hey. Wow, you look... different. What do you mean? Your outfit. It's so... Iconic? I was just gonna say weird. If mine's weird, what color is yours supposed to be? Duh. It's perinicle mangerine. It's like Tuesday's happiest color. Where are you even from? You'd never believe me. This museum visit just got way more interesting. Your father seems to really love this place. He'd spend all day, every day here if he could. That's some real faith he must have. That's one word for it. He keeps going on about a sign. As if Joey's arm is gonna tell him how to be normal. I'm sensing some resentment. Maybe he should ask it how to win Mom back. I'll be darned if that isn't an aspiration brooch. Great! Another social climber. You should speak to my dad. You don't sound too proud of your achievement. What, me? No, it's my dad who earned the kudos, obviously. Talk to him if you want to know who to impress. Then, how did you get yours? Oh, dad got a second one. Bring a friend or something. So they're transferable? Technically, yes. So there's a map in the old history exhibit showing the city as it was? Yes, and it's old. Everything in there is. Hey, listen, I know we just met, but I really was hoping to get one of those brooches. Need to check out the old history exhibit. Let me guess. You were hoping I'd give you mine. That's right. No offense, but you don't seem as... evangelical as most Joey freaks. What's back there that's so important to you? Do you ever feel like you're not being given the whole truth about the city? You mean, how perfect everything is? Yeah. Sometimes it does seem a bit... Ridiculous? Yeah, I mean, who'd fall for this Savior Joey nonsense? Uh, yeah. 
Sorry, I don't think my dad would like me talking to you. I'd better go back to the self-improvement and the learning. Are there many people like your father in the city? Like my father? What, you mean Joey fanatics? They have a club, but my dad is something else. Got enough faith for the two of us. Maybe even enough for all three of us. You have no idea. It's really important that I get that brooch. So you keep saying. But you don't seem like the reverent type. What do you really think of this place? If I were a cynic, I might call some of it a little... unbelievable. Don't say that around my dad. He really buys into all this stuff. Hey, listen. You and me, we're on the same wavelength here. And it's a different wavelength than my father. He does seem very devout. Right? And honestly, just staring at an old arm gets dull. You can just walk out, but I'm stuck here. And you can just go into the back while I can't. I'll make a deal with you. You give my dad a reason to leave, and I'll give you this dumb thing. You in? Okay, I'm in. That brooch in exchange for your freedom. Finally. Praise Joey. Praise? Yes, praise Joey. The girl had agreed to give me her aspiration brooch if I could somehow get her father to leave the museum. This is now the envy of the civilized world. But this is only the beginning. From our new partnership with Asio City, in the Savior's name... The Hello again. Ah, it's you. Could you give me your aspiration brooch? I couldn't. They're issued specifically to social climbers. Could you lend me yours? Uh, no can do. Only the highest Kudos social climbers are allowed into the old history exhibit. You are not worthy. According to the council, that is. I don't think your daughter is as excited by this museum as we are. What? <laughs> what? If Cecily could spend every moment of every day just praising Joey, she would. Cecily! Come here and tell this man how much you love Joey! She really does, though. What are you hoping to learn from the arm? The next step to take to a bright future. My vocation, my journey, destiny. And I'm nearly there. I've never seen the Armac so erratically until today. And what if you don't like what it has to say? Who am I to judge the will of Joey? This guy wasn't going anywhere without a sign from Joey. I had a feeling, without my intervention, he'd be waiting a while. I'd better go and... admire something. Happy Aspiration Day! Continue to guide Union City in this. We invite you to salute the people of Asio City.
city wishes all citizens a happy admiration day! City wishes all citizens a happy aspiration. City wishes all citizens a happy aspiration day! Happy aspiration day. But, Joey, after all that I did to maximize my kudos, why have you forsaken me? I worked so hard. I did every... That's okay, Dad. It's all all right. But Cecily... I just don't understand. Come on now, Dad. Let's go get you a nice can of Spankles at the cafe. Yes. Yes, I think that'll do the trick. I think it's time I tried that new flavor. I very much enjoyed our talk today, Mystery Man. It's been... Eye-opening. I'm glad we could reach an arrangement, miss. Featherbottom. Cecily Featherbottom. Best aspiration day ever. Here you go. A deal's a deal. Until we meet again, may the light and wisdom of Savior Joey smile upon you. Happy aspiration day. City wishes all citizens a happy aspiration. Savior Joey, leash the oppressor. Union City wishes all citizens a happy aspiration. Welcome to the old history exhibit, young lady. Excuse me. Oi! Keep the noise down. Oh, sorry. A little respect while you're in this hallowed place. Right. And you're a guard here? Name's Payne. Roy Allen Payne. ex security officer, 30 years on the force. And I've got my eyes on you. I heard that you have an old map of the city in here. Did you now? And what precisely did you hear? that it shows Union City as it was 10 years ago. See, I have an obsolete area code, E1594, and I need to see where it is. Hmm, I see. Well, the map table is just over in the center of the room, but a specific area code, that'd be like finding a needle in a haystack. Good luck, son. See you later. Enjoy the exhibits. Quietly. The information droid will be with you shortly. This old city refrigerator... The robot was a repository of information about all the exhibits. A padlock prevented whatever was inside from getting out. 
to preserve its mysteries. It was an old fridge. There were strange noises coming from it, as if something was trapped inside. Spangles, the only food replacement guaranteed to be irradiated for your safety and drinking pleasure. Union City still had some pretty backward views on the Gap. These models were far too clean cut to be Gaplanders. They'd done a good job with the goat, though. An old barrel transporter robot. Those robots always gave me the creeps. A giant holographic map of Union City, as it was 10 years ago. If I could get the map to display area E1594, I would find the building where I suspected Graham had met with Leet. The information droid will be with you shortly. These the hand scanner looked broken. I doubted I'd be able to use it anytime soon. The robot was a repository of information about all the exhibits. Hold this board up as an example of immaculate assembly with rather less than immaculate soul. The Joey Speaks looked like a gimmick, but I couldn't pass the opportunity to hear my old buddy's voice again. Unsavior like nature. The old link terminal had long since stopped working. The gruesome tendrils pulsed ominously. The product of Link, an experimental fusion of man with computer that had ended in tyranny. Ten years ago, I'd used the old underground system to reach the heart of Link. A metal panel was bolted onto the side of the table. I'd had a run-in with this tech all those years ago. I hoped Union City had gone in a more sustainable direction. The information droid will be with you shortly. These humble scraps of primitive circuitry house the spark that would become our beloved savior, Joey. The hand scanner looked broken. I doubted I'd be able to use it anytime soon. Many disciples of the savior hold this board up. The wiring to the hand scanner had been ripped out. It was never going to work soldiering. Notice, this attraction is currently closed after complaints of language of a most unsavior-like nature. If I wanted to see what this was all about, I was going to have to get it back up and running.
There were too many people watching to just smash the glass. The information droid will be with you shortly. These humble scraps of primitive circuitry house the spark that would become our beloved savior, Joey. The robot was a repository of information about all the exhibits. Savior, hold this board up as an example of immaculate assembly with rather less than immaculate soldiering. If I wanted to see what this was all about, I was going to have to get it back up and running. The language of a most unsavior-like nature. The wiring to the hand scanner had been ripped out. It was never going to work. Information droid will be with you shortly. La la la, la 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 la. Joey? La la la, la 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 la. Joey, it's me, Foster. Foster? It is really you? Hey, old buddy. Boy, am I glad to see. Let's talk more crowbar, Foster, or whatever other great idea you have for getting me out of here. Is that... Joey? Joey, I'm so sorry. I had no idea what they'd done to you. Yeah, yeah. Save your apologies for after you've got me out of this. Everybody, it's an Aspiration Day miracle. Joey's speaking to us. No, that's not Joey. No way. Joey, it's really you? Oh, great. Here we go again. Joey.
The wiring to the hand scanner had been ripped out. It was never going to work. The information droid will be with you shortly. A padlock prevented whatever was inside from getting out. What? Who? Me? Yeah, you! Silly me. I dropped something by this machine. Sure you did. Meanwhile, why don't you get back to enjoying the exhibit? Quietly. That's why you're here, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. I just can't get enough of old history. Information droid will be with you shortly. The exhibit was on vermin-prompted lockdown. I had to find a way out without being detected, but not before figuring out where this leak guy was hiding out, not to mention rescuing Joey. I got you, buddy. I built the circuit board when I was just a kid, and now I had it back. But it was more than just a board. My old pal Joey was on it. The robot had retreated from the chaos and was peacefully recharging. The old vacuum robot looked familiar. Only unplugged for a moment. Everything I ever loved is dead. Oh, hey, Foster. You're here too, huh? <sighs> Welcome back, Joey. Is this the best shell you could find? I was just collecting dust. You've turned me into a vacuum cleaner, Foster. Again! It's functional. Don't be ungrateful. And look, someone gave you a cool beanie. Don't patronize me, Foster. We'll find you a better shell soon, I promise. Good, because this one sucks. And not even efficiently. Listen, we're in deep trouble. There's something new. Care to bring me up to speed? If anyone asks, my name is Graham Grundy. 
You come up with that yourself? No. I needed an ID to get inside the city. I got this one from a dead body. Jeez, Foster. Was it dead when you found it? Don't worry, Joey. My conscience is clear. I came here looking for a missing child, Milo. He was kidnapped from my village. Oh no, Rob. That's terrible. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Don't look at me. I've been trapped in that glass prison for years. I learned about somebody called Leet here in the city. I think he's somehow connected to the kidnapping. And we're gonna go find him? That's right. I came here to find out where he hides out. And to rescue me? Come on, Joey. That goes without saying. What are the capabilities of your current shell? It's a vacuum bot, Foster. It sucks and it blows. End of. Don't all these old vacuums have an interface probe? I was really hoping you'd forgotten that part. Don't be ashamed. It might come in handy. I'm not ashamed. It's just cold in here. That's everything. Great to have you back, Joey. The Gat Chaps are back! We were never called that. Best friends. That'll do, Joey. That'll do. An old monitor displayed the maintenance test results for the barrel transporter robot. The text referenced the robot's e-manual. Tucked between the old work manuals was the occasional picture of dubious morality. None of it looked to be much use. Lure of the Temptress. went rogue and killed your wife. Androids gone wild. Debbie does DDoS. The enemy within. Union City is smaller than a giant holographic map of Union City as it was 10 years ago. If I could get the map to display area E1594, I would find the building where I suspected Graham had met with Leet. A metal panel was bolted onto the side of the table. panel had been covering the table's interface port. Hey, Joey. Got a job for you. What is it? Remember that leak guy I mentioned? I never forget a thing. Well, I've tracked him to an area code, E1594. Thing is, that code is part of the old system. It's obsolete. Cut to it, Foster. This old map shows the city as it was 10 years ago the old system. If I can find E1594 on here, it would show me where to find Leet. Have you seen the size of this thing? That will take you hours. Exactly. I need you to plug yourself in. I bet you'll find the location in no time. <sighs> Give me a moment. Here, Foster. E-1594. Joey, you're a genius. There. That's the building I'm looking for. It's on the industrial level. Home Crescent Recycling Center. This is where your guy, Lee, is? 
I can't be sure, but it's the best lead I've got. Okay, Foster. What's the plan now? We need to get to that recycling center. But first, we need to break out of here without being seen. Break out. Find lead. Got it. were on lockdown. I wondered whether Joey could help me break out. Hey, Joey. We need to figure a way out of here. What do you mean? We can't just walk out, not with the museum on high alert. That's right. A priceless artifact has been stolen. Really, Joey? Priceless? You can't put a price on friendship, Foster. Do you think any of this junk could help us out? It wouldn't be the first time. See that transporter robot? What does it do? Don't you remember? It transports stuff on a fixed route. Maybe we can talk to it. Talk to it? It's not clever like me. It just follows its programmed route. You think we can use it to get out of here? I don't know yet. Maybe I should probe it. Anything here you'd like to plug into? What do you mean, Foster? That probe of yours. It might be our only way out of here. Listen, if you find something useful, I'll maybe consider giving it the old Joey one too. Now, to get back to escaping. Make it quick. I've seen enough of this place to last a lifetime. You know what they call gap landers here, Foster? I don't think I want to know. You're probably right. I'll keep it to myself. The droid had an old interface port at the base. Hey, Joey, can you talk to the transporter robot? What do you mean, talk? I already said... You're probe, Joey. Probe the robot. Go probe yourself, Foster. If you could give the transporter just enough juice... Please, let's not call it juice. Whatever. Just see if you can get it started. Okay, but would you mind looking the other way? Of course. You almost done? Don't look! Sorry. It's, uh, not doing anything. You don't say, Foster. It's been wiped clean. Decommissioned. Murdered. We need to give it new protocols. Do you think you could do that? Of course I could. I just... Need to know how the system works first. I'll have another look around. Joey, a work report for that barrel robot. And it comes with a maintenance e-manual. How fascinating. Do you think this would help you reprogram that old thing? Well, sure. If you can find a way for me to read it, that terminal clearly wasn't built for vacuum bots. Programming the Z80 by Rodney Zacks. Grease my gears. Droid principles. RBMK-1000 reactor. Meltdown procedure.
The robot had retreated from the chaos and was peacefully recharging. The control panel for the service door. Exhibit was on vermin prompted lockdown. An antiquated interface port was built into the side of the table. Hey, Joey. Any luck reprogramming that transporter robot? I'm not like you humans, Rob. I can't just stick it in and wiggle it around until something happens. Maybe you can find a digital manual around here somewhere. 